What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again with episode four of From a Woman's Perspective. Um, I have a very esteemed guest with me today. I'm going to let her introduce herself, and she's going to let the Foundation know who she is. Yo, 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 what's up with it, y'all? This Ace, the one and only Refresh Clothes. Y'all know about me. If you don't know about me, you need to come here about me. That's right. That's right. And this is a this is a very nice clothing store. I've I've even bought clothes from here. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. We do cater. We cater to all sizes. We start at a twenty eight. We go all the way up to a fifty four. And big men. I don't call them big men though. They, I call them fly guys. We do have a fly guy section. So if there's some fly guys out there, we start. I'm gonna say we start y'all stuff at a three x all the way to a six or a seven x, and from a forty four all the way to a fifty four in pants. So if you need something, call holler at your girl Ace. That's right, that's right. And where exactly could they find this store at? Oh, they can find this store on Bills Monroe. It's in the Five Points West Shopping Center Plaza. It's in between the shoe time and the hippies. That's right, that's right. Listen, y'all, I, I, I bought some things out of here, and I like it. I, I give them a thumbs up. I endorse it. So moving right along, um, on this show, you know, we try to get the perspective on relationships between men and women. So in... One of the questions I would like to ask you, what is your outlook on relationships between men and women today? Do you think things are getting better or do you think things are status quo or they regressing? When it comes to the relationship, the relationship status of women and men in today's society, I'm not going to say it's getting better, but I'm also not going to say it's getting worse. Me personally, I feel like it depends on the couple. I don't want to just put a whole yeah, I want to put a ring around everyone as a whole because it's not everyone. There are people out here that do know how to love and what love is. So they're, you know, of course they're good, but you do have people out here that don't know what love is. So they don't know how to receive love, how to give love. And nine times out of 10, those are the ones that kind of fall on the, on the downside to it. So I don't really want to just say, oh, I feel like it's getting bad or oh, I feel like it's getting good. I just feel like we need to continue to grow as a whole so that we can get to a point to where we don't have to question how relationship statuses are going between women and men. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. I'm, ooh, we got a good one today, y'all. <laughs> we got a good one today. All right, let me ask you this. Um, is, it, is, is it for you, is it hard to deal with a man if he's broke or does it make a difference to you? Me personally, I don't go into a relationship looking for what my partner has as far as financial because I got my own money. Like, like, uh, what my boy said, I got my own money. What I needed, you already know the rest of it. So, you know, I don't really look at it as if that's a deal breaker for me because what I can do for myself, I can do for others. And that it just don't, it doesn't bother me. Okay. It's just not a deal breaker. Now, do I just want you out here broke? Of course not. Right. Of course not. I want you out here doing the same thing I'm doing. If I'm out hustling, I expect you to be out hustling. Now, it don't have to be in the same form of way of what I'm doing, but I do expect you to have some type of get up and go about yourself too. Right. Get some and that, that's understandable. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. What about if you were dealing with an individual and when you first got with them, they were willing to hustle, they were willing to go to work, and now here it is six months down the line. They don't want to work, and they don't want to get up and go hustle every day. They want to sit around the house. Is that a deal breaker? That is for me, but me personally, I'm a type of person. If you came in with this drive and this ambition and just but a go-getter person, and now six months, and I don't see that, I'm going to sit you down and talk to you. Hey, baby, what's up? What's going on? This this ain't you. We was just here, and now we're here, so let's talk about it. Like, what happened? What's going on to where now you... You down here when you was just up here. Right. So, like, I'm just all for just, I'm for peace. I'm for peace. I'm okay. not a confrontational person. So, stuff like that, I feel like that's where arguments come from. Because now they feel like you're trying to belittle them. Because you never know. If you don't talk to your partner, you never know what's going on in their head. So, they could be dealing with some mental things in their head that they don't know how to express to you without you coming to them asking them what's wrong with you. So, in that sense, uh, I would just try to sit sit my significant other down and talk to them and kind of see where their head is and once i see where their head is if it is something mentally that's disturbing them and what they need to 
what they need to do, then we'll we'll get that together. But if you just flat out just lazy, oh, you got to go. You right. got to go, no if ands, and buts about it. Because like I just said, I don't, I love someone who has that drive, that ambition. Like, yeah, we need to be in competition. Yeah, and not just on no hard stuff like friend stuff. Yeah, babe, yeah, I did this. Yeah, babe, I did that. Like, that's how we're supposed to end our night, telling each other what we've done, what we've got accomplished, and what's next. Okay. All right. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about cheaters? <laughs> cheaters. Cheaters. Cheaters are cheaters are going to be a cheater. Right. It doesn't it's it's not a sex thing. Most people say, "Oh, all men are cheaters because they're man, that's just a man's thing." No. No, that's not the case. Women do the same thing. Women Hey, we we just we just a little slicker than y'all. Y'all just y'all we just a little slicker than y'all. I'm going to give y'all the sauce. Y'all, y'all like to be flamboyant with y'all cheating. We like, we know how to cheat and cheat in private but without, it being, <laughs> without it being known. So, you know, that would just be a tip for y'all men. Stop being so flamboyant about what you do. You ain't got to tell your partners. You know your partners want it anyway, so they right. try to mess your circle up anyways, man. Some stuff you got to keep between you and that person. If that's what you're going to do, not saying I don't condone cheating at all. I don't condone it at all. If you're going to cheat, just leave me alone. Right. I'd rather you just leave me alone and tell me what it is. Don't, don't, don't do me like that. For one, there's too much stuff going on in the world now. And I play by a lot of stuff when my health isn't one. Right, exactly. So, with that being said, I would just, if you're going to cheat on me, just let it be. Okay. Come on, come this way. So, you, you, uh, this is my wife. You, in a, come on. You, uh, the reason why I started laughing was, uh, okay, you want that seat? All right. I was sitting there, that's what I was doing. Oh. You know. <laughs> okay. okay. No, excuse me. The reason why I started laughing was because in, in, in a way you inadvertently answered my next question. And the next question was, um, who do you, who do you think does it better when it comes to cheating, men or women? Oh, women all day. Right. Women all day. Because again it goes back to me, men, y'all. I don't know if it's a pride thing. I don't know if it's more of an ego thing, but y'all feel like y'all just got to let the world know you just hit Becky, Sarah, Susie, and Trina the other night, and now you finna go over here with Ashley tonight. Like, bro, you ain't got to do all that. If that's what you're choosing to do with your 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 life and your business, like I said, I don't condone it, but if that's what you're going to do, bro, at least know how to do it. Right. Dang, how you do it? You ain't supposed to be out here telling what goes on in the bedroom is supposed to stay within the bedroom or just between you and your mistress. They're supposed to stay. That's why they're a mistress. That's why they call sneaky links. Right. Because you're supposed to be sneaky. You're not supposed to let the world know. It's not supposed to be a worldwide thing that everyone knows what you're doing when you're doing something like this. So, again, I do say women. Because women, oh. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> women Women are like sneaky. That. No, let me ask you this. Um, if could you deal with a man that's in prison? I can pray for him. <laughs> Won't be no relationship long distance like that, huh? No, especially not if it's a long term. Right. If it's a long term. Don't get me wrong. Now, will I say I would just cut them off? Oh, you got to get it how you live. I can't, you can't do nothing for me. No. Will I still come visit you? Yes, but I'm going to let you know that, hey. There, there is someone in the picture. I'm not going to just leave you in the blind because that's how stuff happened on the inside. And if you have children with them, there's nothing you want them to get themselves into because now they're mad because they done found out that you talked to little Tim now and they thought you weren't talking to nobody. Now they didn't got to fight him and got added, you know, more time onto it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. This here is, um... This this here this here is very enlightening, cause you giving me you giving me some good answers. You giving answers that a lot of people in the comments have been wanting to hear. That other you know a lot of other people that I've been speaking with, they haven't been giving me you know going in depth in their answers the way you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now another question that I've been asking. Let's say like before, if you had a significant other that's financially stable, you know what I'm saying you know cares for you, looking out for you doing everything they can for you, but they are, are garbage in the bed. Is that a deal breaker? Um, with, no, it's not. And like I say that because at one point in time, we didn't know how to write. Somebody had to teach us how to spell. We didn't know how to spell, but guess what? Practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So if 
me personally speaking from my perspective, if I love her and I truly care about that significant other or just that person in general, no, yeah, okay, baby, then we just got to work on some stuff. We just, we going to go watch some videos and we're going to get it together. We got to get this together, baby, because we straight everywhere else. And I need us to be across the boards, tense. So if they're not doing what they need to do, that's just something that you should talk about within your partner and y'all get it together. And so you, you can't, you, you're willing right. to be patient and teach them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I care about them. That's what's up. If That's I care about them, but if you know, if you just some I'm doing, then no, no, okay. probably not, probably not. But if I actually do care about you and I like you, I'm rocking with you. I see you rocking with me. Yeah, patience is key, man. Patience okay. is key. Now let me ask you this. Let's say like uh, you have a significant other, but and you care very much for your significant other, but your family don't like them. What do you do about that? At the end of the day, of course, everyone wants their family to like each other because it's just it's easier it's easier but at the end of the day y'all my family this my woman or my man so i mean hey i don't have to stay with y'all yes i talk to y'all yes y'all are still gonna be my family yes i'm still gonna love you the same way that i love you but that's not gonna change how i'm gonna feel about her because if i still want to talk to her tomorrow i'm gonna talk to her if i still want to talk to him tomorrow i'm gonna talk to them regardless of how y'all feel this isn't y'all life Y'all live y'all life. This is my life. So whatever I choose to do with my life, there's nobody business but mine. So whatever decisions, whatever consequences I have to face, that maybe y'all see something I can't see, that's just going to have to be something I'm going to have to learn. And that's just me growing as a person myself. You can't always expect your folks to tell you, oh, no, they not good for you. Leave them alone. And you just do it. Certain stuff you have to see for yourself so you will know what not to look for in your next you know, relationship. Okay, okay. Okay. Um I caught I kinda got brain freeze for a minute. If you don't mind me asking you, what's your sign? I'm a Virgo, the best sign there is. A Virgo. I'm about Virgo. to do it better than a Virgo. 9-11, That is my birthday. I am a Virgo. Don't nobody do it better. Are you sure? I'm positive. In 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 your opinion, what is your most compatible sign? My most compatible sign would probably either be a, a Gemini or a Capricorn. A Gemini mm. or a Capricorn. So Virgos like Geminis. We like certain Geminis. I'm oh, okay. Like that. We like certain Geminis. It's just you just have to know how to deal with the Gemini. You know, true that. All. True that. So I have a lot of experience. You never know. Yeah, who you're yeah get. right. So, again, that goes back to patience. Patience. Like I said, oh, wow. patience is key. So with Gemini's, you just never know. It's fun. It's fun because you never know who you're going to get. And you know, if you know Virgos, you know Virgos like a challenge. Right. We love to always keep going, to keep going up the bar, up the bar, up the bar. And in that sense, that'll help us get up the bar. And then as far as Capricorns. No, come on, homie. Come on. Y'all good? No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever dealt with an Aries? Yeah, I have. And what was that experience like? Hell. Come on through. You good? You good? Yeah, straight, man. Yeah, y'all good. <laughs> I like them shoes you got on them. Right? Okay, how y'all doing? All right. What you looking for today? Man, I'm bringing my guy. He's from out of town, man. Just went to shopping. Where you from, okay, homie? You... Arkansas. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, Ben. Well, I'm Ace, man. And if you see anything in here that you like, or if you need any help, you got any questions about anything, let me know. You look like you're probably about a 34 or 36 in your pants. If you like more of a slim fit or regular jeans, all the regular jeans are going to be on this side. If you are open to stacks, I'm not sure if you are, all of the stacks are going to be on this side. I got a lot of sweatshirts in. I have a lot of hoodies in, um, T-shirts on this side. So if you do have a shoe in mind, just let me know and I'll put you something together and we'll see how you like it. For sure. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got a good one today, y'all. We got a good one today, y'all. Okay, um, you was you were saying that you have dealt with the Aries oh, in the past? Yeah. yeah, I have, man. It was hell. What? It was hell. <laughs> Aries, Aries. Aries yeah. are the best people on the planet. Oh, I'm sorry to offend you, but y'all hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell. Y'all are y'all are lovers. 
Y'all are lovers. I can't say that. Y'all are lovers, but y'all hell, boy. In what way? What's wrong with them? Y'all attitudes horrible. Y'all feel like y'all know everything. You don't want to listen to nothing about. Y'all just very. Y'all are strong minded. Y'all are strong minded individuals, and there's nothing wrong with being a strong minded individual. But Aries, y'all just feel like it's. In a sense, y'all remind me of. That may be why I didn't get along with Aries because, in a sense, they do remind me of a Virgo because I know Virgos are very strong-minded. Right. We do feel like we know everything. It's either our way or it's wrong. Well, Aries do know more than all the other signs. No, I ain't going to say that. It's a Virgo, man. It's a Virgo. No. It's a Virgo. It's and a Virgo. if that's the case, I find it hard for you to deal with a Gemini because Geminis are so much like Aries. It's pitiful. They think they, they are, know everything, but see. They are. But that's why I said, <sighs> come on. It's a, it's a toss with a Gemini because... For a Virgo, like I said, we love challenges. We love, they give us a thrill. You know, we like we like that type of stuff. So with a Gemini, you don't know if you're going, oh, oh, you never know. What well, I'm, you her. have to have a very good BS button because Geminis are the best liars on the planet. That they are, that they are. It's because they're two-faced. Thank you. They're two-faced. <laughs> so you never know what... But me personally, I think I'm. I don't know. I'm just a little different. I'm. A, I'm gonna know when you're lying. Right. I'm a low. I'm gonna know when you're lying. You may think I don't know, just because I don't say something doesn't necessarily mean I don't know. How you know? I just want to see how long you gonna let your lie go on. I already got all my information, all my details. I just want to see how long you gonna let this lie just continue to go on and go on because I already got the receipts. Right. I just want to see how honest you are if you gonna own up to it. So okay. So let me ask you this. Um, do you think in this day and age marriages can last or is it better just to not even be married and just, you know, be cool with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend and boyfriend or whatever. Um, in that sense, no, I absolutely are for marriages. I would want people to get married. I feel like that is just a different way that you step in once you are married. You have to, you've entered a totally different way if you've always been separate. Even if you've been with someone for 30 years, if you weren't married, you were still, in a sense, single. Because y'all was together, but that ring, that ring made you whole. Mm -hmm. So, I absolutely, yes, I feel like people should get married. And that goes back to what I was talking about when I was saying, as long as we continue to try to grow and build, will be okay when it comes to relationships. And once you start growing and building, that's where that marriage come in at. Because me, me, I'm 24. My generation ain't thinking about nothing like that right now. They, they not on that. And right. I can't even fully blame them. I can't fully blame their parents. It's just, it's something that's gonna have to be in them. It's not something, me personally, that can be necessarily taught to you. I feel okay. like, you you supposed to have that instilled in your mind, and if you haven't had, if you don't know what that looks like, then you'll never know. You know that'll never come across your head. You've never seen a married couple because, like I said, I'm 24. My generation, most most kids in my time or just younger adults, they don't have both their parents. They didn't have, they didn't grow up in that household to where their mom and their dad are together and they're married. So they don't, when they think about a relationship, that's all they're thinking about. Yeah, this is my good. They're not thinking. Oh, I'm going to marry her. Oh, I'm going to marry him. Because they've never seen what it looks like to have someone that's married in the same household. So they don't look at stuff like that. But like I said, it all goes back to growth. Everything starts with growth. So you just keep growing and you'll get there. Are you you sure you're 24? Yeah, I'm or 24. Or 44? Man. I'm 24. I'm 24. I promise I'm 24. I'm 24. Because you, I mean, you, mentally, you are I very just, advanced. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I just had the exception of having a fantastic, spectacular mother. As a, I can't even just say mother. I had a, a spectacular village. I had a right. village. Because they, takes it a takes village. a village. Right. I have a village. And my village, they, they provided me with any type of information and just knowledge, whether it's book-wise, street-wise, Whatever it is, they, they they got me there. So I do appreciate that, man. I give all shout-outs to my village. Now, let me ask you this. In this day and age, women are so big on equal equal rights with men, equal rights with men. It's like each year that goes by, they want to compete more and more with men until it comes down to them getting out of place and a man goes upside their head. Now, they don't want it to be equal anymore. The first thing they want to start hollering, you're a man, but hold on. You was just on some... We equal. We could do anything y'all can do. 
But when he when he hit her when he hit her with that uh wing wang winky and um flipped her, now she wants it to be man and woman. What do you feel about that? Um, when it comes to that situation right there, I'm gonna go ahead and start it off like this. When it comes to that violence, I don't condone violence. I don't condone it at all. I don't feel like no one should put their hands on no one. I don't feel like a woman should put her hands on a man for starters because he's a man. Like, come on now, that's common sense. He's a man. Right. You know he's stronger than you. Unless you just want them big bucket, them big bucket ones, you know, and you got your little french fry, then maybe. But they're still not right, so... I'm going to start off with it like that. I don't condone violence at all. I don't condone a woman putting her hand on a man. I don't condone a man putting his hand on a woman. Because at the end of the day, it shouldn't have to get that far. It's communication. If you okay. feel like you're that mad to where you want to raise your hand up at your significant other, just go ahead and just go, on, go cool out. I ain't necessarily saying you got to leave her. But if you feel like, okay, I need to go take a drive. You elaborate, baby, I'm heated right now. I really don't need to be around you because I might do something. I might say something and I'm going to regret. So I'm going to just go take this drive. I'm going to come back cool, calm, collective. Hopefully you as calm as I am and we can sit down and we can talk about it. So that's what starters as far as do I feel like women and men are equal when it comes to the violence part. I just don't condone violence at all, especially not when it comes to your significant other. That's not somebody. You're supposed to be out here beating people up together. Not right. beating each other up. Right, not exactly. Not supposed to be beating the world up together, not beating each other up. How y'all gonna walk around here with two black eyes, you got a black eye, he got a black eye? What? I agree, I agree. But when it comes to the equal rights, I just really, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I just really wish we would find something else better to talk about when it comes to equal rights because... It's just going to be a repeating cycle. It's just going to keep going and keep going. And it's going to, I'm not going to say it's not going to get anywhere because stuff is progressing, but it's just not going to be to where the world expects it to be. There's never going to be a, yes, women are this over men. Yes, men are this over women. It's just not going to be that. Because if it was, if, it, if they was to put it out into the world like that, it would be too, it would be too chaotic. It's okay. just like if they told us that, you know, they was really keeping stuff aliens and stuff. If they told us that aliens and stuff was really out here walking around, the world would be in a frantic. Like, they'll just go crazy. Yes, they would. So certain stuff you just can't put out, and I feel like that's just one of those things, in my opinion. You know what? With with that right there, I can't... I, I'm, I'm, I'm around it off with it because you have gave some very good answers to all my questions, and in the words of my partner, Mel, uh, Melly Mel from Santana Block, lock the doors. And you know it. Hey.